Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Weapons Brief brought to you by Battlefield Vegas. As always, I'm your host Trevor, and with me I have Rick, and today we're gonna go over the iconic 1911. Rick, why don't you tell us about the handgun? Sure. What we have here is a 1911. Um, its initial year of service was 1911. Um, it's one of the most successful sm small, small arms of the 20th century. Uh, with over 100 plus years of service, it was designed by John Brownie. Uh, it's, it was initially uh, designed in 1905 and uh, competed for the government contract. Uh, now the stipulation of these trials for the government contract uh, was that it, could, it had to be a semi-automatic pistol that could fire 230 round, uh, 230 grain round. So uh, at the end of the trials, this was the only remaining weapon. and. Uh, successfully got that government contract. Um, it's been in service and seen nearly every war since. Um, though in 1926, post-World War I, it uh, came back as the 1911A1 with few uh, design modifications. But this weapon is roughly about two and a half pounds, fires a 45 APC round, and fires from a seven round box mag. Um, its operation is a uh, short recoil, single action. So uh, we're gonna take this apart and show you what it's like to fire this weapon on the range, okay? Um. So there's a de uh, depressing button right here. Press that down, that's the, the spring. You turn the slide, over, uh, the slide cover to the right. Out comes your spring. Turn it a quarter turn the other way, and lift. Now, there's two notches along the slide. You want to turn it to the first one before you push it out, and it comes unlocked. Just like that. And out comes a barrel. And that's what a 19 pounder looks like on the inside. So, to put it back together, it's pretty much the reverse. Barrel in first. Got to line up that slide. Right it forward. Again, going to that first notch, put in the, the lever, make sure it's nice and lined up. There's a, there's a little depressor right here. So you just go over the top of that and just push down and it'll come right back in. No problem. Seat the spring. Now you want to hold that barrel kind of tight because you don't want this shooting back out of your face. So and that's your 1911. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad we went over that because, like, for me, I'm a Glock guy. I've never seen a gun breaking down like that. For most uh, most guns, you know, we just ride it back a little bit, hit that release, and just rack the slide forward and everything comes out in one shot. That's uh, that's definitely different. I'm glad I had a chance to see it. Let's go ahead, let's get it on the range and uh, play with it a little bit. This is the 1911, not on full auto. 